In this lesson, we're going to implement the final functionality of our application, which is marking to do's as completed. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a button beside the view button. And when the user clicks on this button, we are going to mark the to do as completed. So let's go ahead and start by adding that button. We're going to go to the resources, views, to do's, index.blade.php. And we are going to add the button by simply copying this one and then this is going to go to slash to do's to do id complete and then this is going to say complete and this is going to be a button warning just so it's yellow and if i refresh the page right now you can see we have the complete button right there so i'm gonna move it up so that it's on the other side and I'm going to give this one a margin right of two, just so that they have some space amongst them. So I can just give this a color of white. So I'm just going to give this a style color white, refresh, and I think that looks better. So when the user clicks on this, it's supposed to mark the to-do as completed and redirect back to that page. At the moment, we have a 404 because we haven't registered the route yet. So we'll open up our web.php, which is right here in the routes folder. And we are going to say route get to-do's slash the to-do slash complete. And this is going to be handled by the to-do's controller at complete method. So we'll head over to the to do's controller and we're going to add a complete method public function complete. And remember, we can type hint right here, and Lavo is automatically going to fetch the to do from the database and inject into this method. So all we can do is to do complete equals true. I think the database column is called completed. So if you want to verify, you can check out the to do stable migration, which is completed right here. So we can say to do is completed equals true to do save. Then we can flash a message by saying session flash success. We can say to do completed successfully. and return redirect to the slash to do screen. Now, there's just one problem. This button is always going to show up whether the to do is completed or not. So we're going to wrap it with an if statement. So if to do completed, and to negate this, we're going to use a not. So if not to do completed, and if. So if the to-do has not been completed, display this link. And if it has been completed, then this link is not going to show up. So right now, if we go back to our list of to-dos, you can see it shows up for every to-do. But if I click on complete, you can see that it goes away for the first one because this to-do has been marked as completed. If I click on this one, you can see it's gone. And if we come back to our database, give this a quick refresh, you can see that completed right now stands as one. If we manually change this to zero, hit enter, come back to application, refresh, you can see this one is back. All right, awesome. That's the functionality we want. So we have a create, read, update, and delete to do application set up successfully using Lavo. You can see how easy that is when you're working with a framework. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you up in the very next lesson where we're going to talk more about Lavo. Thank you so much and see you then.